So I raised my arms mm -hmm. and I said, Lord, I give to you Daniel. I mm -hmm. put him on the altar. Mm -hmm. And you gave Isaac ba back to Abraham. Mm -hmm. I won't get back Daniel now, but I'm going to mm -hmm. trust you that yep. he's going to be with you forever mm -hmm. and that you're going to take care of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that night, Barbara was the hardest. It was so difficult. It was like mm -hmm. a sword in my heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the following morning, I experienced what, what footprints in the sand, God truly carried mm -hmm. me. I had a peace that passed. Yes, Underst all understanding. All understanding. Yeah. I had a peace. So two months went by, and my son, was, Daniel, was sitting in the kitchen. He was now, um, uh, he was close to his 17th birthday. And he was like 80 pounds and, and, and you know, very weak. So he said, um, Mom, come here. So I got on my knees so I could be face to face with him. And I said, what is it, Daniel? He says, Mom, I want to tell you something. Now, I didn't tell anybody what the Lord had told me. I kept mm -hmm. it to myself. Mm -hmm. And you don't always share revelation yeah. God gives you. Right, don't cast pearl you, before you, you swine. You don't always do that. Yeah. So he said, um, I want to tell you something, Mommy. He said, I know I need a miracle, but even if God gives me one, I'm not going to follow you and I'm not going to follow God because everything I want is out there. And he picked up his bony little arm and he pointed outside. Mm -hmm. So I caressed his face and gave him a kiss and told him that I love him and that mm -hmm. God loves him. Mm -hmm. And um, two months later, Daniel died in my arms mm -hmm. and he went home to be with the Lord. Uh, in uh, surrounding Around his bed were his friends. Mm -hmm. They were there from diagnosis to when he went mm -hmm. home. They watched him. They saw him go home. Mm -hmm. And um, right after Daniel left, because I knew when the Lord had taking, taken him, because it was, it was no more like, it, it was like holding just mm -hmm. like an object. Mm -hmm. And my house was full of people at that time. And I went into my bedroom. I locked the door. I laid face down and I worshiped God. Mm -hmm. I worshiped him and I thanked him mm -hmm. that no evil could ever touch him yes, again yes. and that he was, is forever with mm -hmm. the Lord. So how do, you know, how, when people hear about witchcraft um, and you talk about God teaching you how to break curses or how to, you know, combat that, um, how, how do we do that according to God's Word? Well, according to God's Word, curses are not sent. We don't send curses, but we do return them. Mm. They get returned. And they get, and they, and you know, they, they, we break them. We just break them in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the work, the cross of Calvary at Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection was a complete work. Mm -hmm. And curses were taken care of too. Yes. Mm -hmm. But just because Jesus died on the cross doesn't mean that the whole world is automatically saved. Mm -hmm. We need to come to the cross. Mm -hmm. Well, after salvation, many times curses need to be contended with. Mm -hmm. So any negative repeated pattern mm -hmm. in a person's life uh, it, it could very well be a curse, even from the bloodline. Mm -hmm. So you feel that in, in your family that you were able to take authority over that, right? Absolutely. What did you feel was coming against your family? or coming against you? Because like, you talk about some of the manifestations in your home, and, but what did you feel was coming against you personally? Any time, the, 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 what, what most of the time, what the enemy, the enemy's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So the enemy does not desire one to, to fulfill their destiny, mm -hmm. does not want does not desire one to go forth in God. Mm -hmm. So the enemy wants to keep a person in a box, mm -hmm. stagnated, mm -hmm. or just not going forward at all. Mm -hmm. 
And so is that what you felt was happening in your life? Well, I, saw, I knew that I couldn't just sit and allow these things to happen. The Word of God says that we are not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Mm -hmm. So there were things that were happening, and I had to take authority. In, in Genesis, the Lord says to subdue the earth mm -hmm. and take dominion. Mm -hmm. And in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said, I've given you power mm -hmm. to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the strength of the enemy. Mm -hmm. That word all in the mm -hmm. Greek is pas, mm -hmm. which means um, through everything, every way, every place, we have complete mm -hmm. authority mm -hmm. over the enemy regarding our jurisdiction that God has mm -hmm. given to us. Mm -hmm. What do you feel that you have been set free from through all of that? Um, you know, that that witchcraft that w that you felt was coming against you what what freedom do you do you um, you know do you feel opinion of man okay. I'm free from what people think any mm -hmm. negative things that people think God set me free from that mm -hmm. he set me free from from um, people having tried to mold me into who they think thought that I should have been okay. in the past. Okay. I am fulfilling who God has called me to be. Okay. Okay. Um, so what is what are things like in your life right now? What's what where is Jennifer now in, in I life? have a very close relationship with the Lord and I walk in authority over anything that you know demonic that may try to come against me mm -hmm. I have authority over mm -hmm. and and um, and I expect to fulfill every inch of my God-given destiny mm -hmm. and nothing and nobody <laughs> will stop it <laughs> so what do you believe that God-given destiny is first and foremost most Barbara to serve him mm -hmm. and to worship him mm -hmm. and to be obedient unto him okay all right, and so how how is that playing out in your life right now? Like, what you know, what is God calling you to do? Because you talk about obedience, then there has to be a commission, right, of some kind, or 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 an ask from yes. God. And yes. so, how are you fulfilling that right now? How are you walking in obedience okay. to Him? Okay, now? well, the Bible says that we are to seek first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and His righteousness, and everything else will follow. So daily I take up my cross, Lord, what, you know, whatever your assignments are for me today regarding your kingdom, mm -hmm. I pray that you equip me to fulfill those assignments, mm -hmm. whether it is from a smile to ministering to someone, to praying, prayers for interceding, spiritual warfare, or mm -hmm. deliverance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you talk about ways that God has used you? Um, in the in the, in this time of your life, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I get calls from people, um, even from other states, that are referred to me that need some some warfare prayers, mm -hmm. and I will pray for them, and then I will also uh, give them information about other warfare ministries that can help them as well. Mm -hmm. So, and even in the place where I'm at in my little shop downtown, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's just not, it's not about selling jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's not all about selling jewelry. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 I do kingdom business in, in my, in my mm -hmm. shop. And God uh, is using you in, in the, in the downtown area of Chicago. Yes. We get to see, we're seeing a little bit of your shop right now, actually, um, to, uh, to, to kind of bring some light uh, into the urban environment, right? Yes. So what what was it that led you in this direction, jewelry? Well, I was, uh, I was ordained in 2007, and I just began to, I did write a spiritual warfare manual, and I began, and I decided that to, when I would put out my warfare manuals to sell, that I would uh, put a few crosses out. Well, I went to some suppliers and I saw that there were some beautiful um, crosses, just, you know, beautiful, big, bling crosses mm -hmm. that, that I just fell in love with. And then from there, I just expanded 
and, and I just added. I added, and then I found out I can make jewelry. Okay. <laughs> so talk about your shop and, and um, talk about your jewelry. And the name of your shop is? Queen Esther's Jewels. Okay. And why Queen Esther? Oh, the, you know, the Holy Spirit just gave me that name. Okay. He just gave it to me. And I love the book of Esther. Yeah. Who was she? Talk about her for a minute well, she, for our audience that may not know. Esther uh, was a, um, a Jewish girl named Hadassah who was brought to the palace to be groomed and she was chosen as queen. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she was a woman of destiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and God used her to uh, pretty much saved the Jews, right? Yes. She was chosen for a time such as yes. this or that, maybe we should say, right? Yes. So Queen Esther. And so God gave you that name. Give and me that talk name. about how this whole business began. Okay. So I started in 2007 selling jewelry. I started from crosses and I expanded from there. But I didn't have a location yet. I was... Um, always on the phone looking for places where I can go and set up a table, mm -hmm. uh, craft shows and mm -hmm. places and conferences and places mm -hmm. like that. And, uh, and then I just continued to do that. And then last year in September of 2011, well, actually the month before, I was doing a sidewalk sale in the Thompson Center. And the owner of the Fashion Nail Spa came out and uh, she said, I'd like to talk to you. And she brought me into her shop, and she showed me this section in the shop. It's like 55 square feet. Mm -hmm. She says, how would you like to rent this from me mm. and set up your jewelry? And I actually began to cry <laughs> because I knew that was an open door from God. Mm -hmm. And so then in September, a month later, I set up shop. So I am located in the Thompson Center, also known as the Illinois State Building. Yes. So and what is that like? And talk about your jewelry. What's the inspiration? And Okay. Oh, yeah. What I don't make, I do make some pieces and I deal with, uh, I, I work with crystals and some precious stones. And what I don't make, I hand select. Mm. But everything um, is prayed over. I break off of it, whatever is not of God. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these right now. Uh -huh. So are these some creations? Yes. Or? yes. Okay. And so you said these are, you pray over these? I pray or? over them. And because, you know, I, I don't know who, who the ones uh, that I purchased, okay, from my suppliers, mm -hmm. I don't know who made them, exactly where they were made. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people make things and they say prayers over mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And, um, but. Yeah, these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what so. is it that you want to see God do through all of this, Jennifer? When women come to the, and I do have men customers too who buy for their, for their wives, when, when women, um, and by the way, this jewelry is for all age groups. I have jewelry. And uh, from conservative to, you know, really yeah. fun and trendy, <laughs> yeah. like what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, it's bringing out the queen in you. Matter of fact, my business cards say, Queen Esther's Jewels, bringing out the queen in you. Okay. And, and, and ladies, I, I have found that many of them have said the same thing. Oh, this is so beautiful, it's gorgeous, but I don't have anywhere to wear it to. And that is like an open door for me to say to them, you wear it every day. Jeans and tank top, you wear it every day. Mm. I'm going to tell you, Barbara, when my grandparents died, I watched my mother pack up their things, still brand new, still in the boxes, still uh, unused, and, and, and give them away. Mm. My son, the, 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 the little possessions that he had, n nobody takes it with them. Yes. Enjoy the things that, you, that right. you have. That's Enjoy right. them. Yeah. Do you feel like there's an opportunity to ever kind of share the gospel when you're... All the time. Yeah. What All does that time. look like? All the time. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I haven't had um, one person yet that, ha that rejected... Um, Mm -hmm. Some kind of encouragement. I mean, I don't talk yeah. to them all. I don't. I don't. Yeah, you're you know, not preaching. I'm to not them exactly. And, yeah, yeah. It, it, exactly. Yeah, but you're. But God is using you in a way. Yes. Of, yeah. Yes. So, 
if I were to pick up a warfare manual, what, what are the kinds of things that I would find in there? Like, what are the kinds of things that you share in there that could help somebody who maybe doesn't know a here's lot about what, it? Here's what I teach, Barbara, because I teach how to stand against our already defeated enemy. He's already defeated. Mm -hmm.